know, looking around here, I don't think I have quite the funds for any of this yet. So we're gonna have to find some uh, ulterior measures. So this idea sort of started out as a joke. I recently made a well-educated purchase of a massive six-person inflatable swan. Let's see how this thing looks blown up. Guys, would you look at this thing? It's absolutely giant. It was on sale, all right? It was like 80 bucks. God, the internet's an amazing place. If you could tell me a better way to spend money, doubtful, but you know, I'd love to hear it. So you might have seen this on my Instagram, at video, or in a previous video I uploaded. So the original plan with that video though was to make a giant RC swan boat that you could drive around with a little remote control. I posted that video but I took it down because although it was super fun to make, uh, I didn't think it was my best work because uh, it didn't move very well. All around I had a lot of issues and I'm trying to make the best content. So I pulled it and went back to the drawing board. So I was thinking, I already got a pretty good deal on the swan. What if we could find a cheap outboard motor and uh... Put, put the two things together, you know? And also could be super fun and helpful for some of you guys who don't have the funds to buy a boat and a trailer. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So I was able to score this dinghy motor for like 40 bucks or something. God, this was not worth it for just one shot. So the reason I was able to get this for pretty cheap is because it's a little bit broken. Um, by a little bit broken, I mean the whole propeller shaft part snapped off. So I was able to fix it, but unfortunately it compromised the steering, but we were able to find a way around that problem We'll see you in a minute. All right, so now we have our giant swan raft, our mostly functional motor. Only thing that we really have to build is the motor mount. So if we're gonna put a big ass motor on this thing, we're gonna need a pretty secure motor mount. So I'm thinking if we get like some wood beams or something, build kind of like a, what is that shape called? Ninth grade geometry, don't fail me now. A staple? All right, you know what, we're just gonna go with staple, yeah. So sort of like a staple shape that just like, sits right on there, build two of them. Cause if you see, this thing kind of curves out. So if we have one thing going in there, coming up, over, and then down to the side. I'm thinking because this part is just screen and it won't matter if there's a little tiny hole in it. Maybe we, maybe we add like an anchor point right here. So the motor mount won't flip off that way. Wow, I really need a chop saw. I'm gonna save you guys the pain of watching the rest of that and just uh, cut to the end, no. No pun intended, <laughs> pun very much intended. Now I should say, if you're gonna try anything like this, do it at your own risk, and definitely make sure this motor mount is super reinforced, cause uh, I had a little bit of issues with mine. Use like metal braces to reinforce it if you're gonna make it out of wood. Basically make sure it's strong. So we're gonna make a tiny little hole here and that's gonna be our port to uh, attach the frame, to attach the motor. So this right here, guys, is the whole boat. Engine right there, the leaf blower to inflate, the giant swan, which is uh, rolled up in that box right there. Then we've got the wooden motor mount and some gas in the back there. And that's everything. Now for the big test. Will this under $200 boat that we made fit in the trunk of my sedan car? Lift with the knees. That fits too. Nice, I like it. I have my doubts about this one. This one might need to go in the back seat. Oh my God, we did it. Full giant six person sub 200 boat right in the back there. Horse is gonna have to sit this one out though. We're gonna do a little, wanna do a little intro. Like, Wait, should I be filming this right now? No, it is filming. Oh. Yeah, the whole point of it is that it's in the trunk. We're here live with Jay Laser videos. You don't need Another, to, uh... you don't need to say anything. <laughs> you sure? Actually, the less you say is probably better. Jake, I'm, I've got a pretty <laughs> nice little radio voice though. This is water. We use it for many things. <laughs> Drinking. 
that's about it. You just kind of just kind of set it on. Oh, oh, okay. So here's the engine. Oh. This part right here broke, so I reattached it. Wonderful. Yes, Wonderful. yes. But because I had I, I reattached it, it doesn't turn. So we gotta figure out some steering. Nice, is that our job? It's the brains yeah. of the operation here. <laughs> yeah, that's the issue right now. Everyone else has to use that boat launch with their trailers. We get to just fill this up for 20 minutes Fucking instead. So First in line. Always oh, so majestic, oh my god. Take your shampoo. You try not to get any of it on the boat because it'll pop the boat. Mm. Wait, who said that? Why, why are you all backing away? <laughs> get out of here, bro. Just like mowing your lawn. Mowing your swan lawn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's go. So for the steering, I actually figured out that because it's an inflatable, squishy raft, uh, you can just kind of pull on the motor mount for one side and it'll turn the whole thing. As you can see here, you know, it worked pretty great. So how would you rate your boating experience? Nine out of 10. Nine out of 10? Next time it's for sure to be a 10 out of 10. Okay, do you think for the price, this is better than a regular ah. boat? A boat that's like 30 grand versus this, which is like, a couple hundred. Jake, if you attach water skis to this thing and can get someone water skiing from it, it's 11 out of 10. You go tubing, you expect to be pulled, but seldom do you realize that wrap the tube and pull itself. I don't know what that means. Granted, there is a little bit of setup time. I'll give you that. But if you just subscribe to Jay Laser videos, I like where heads at. It's no thing. All right, we're gonna pull the plug on this, buddy. Get him in there. You see, you want to send me in? It's almost like you're not trying to help get him out. <laughs> lift with the back. Team lift. Team lift. <laughs> ah. He gone. This is slip right in there. All right, so what's the deal? And then just. And we'll go home the chain. Gang. All right, guys, so the question at hand. Is it actually worth it? Personally, hell yeah, this thing is sweet. If you wanna go for like a chill cruise on the river with your friends, cruise around a bit, have a great time. If you're trying to break some speed records, probably not though. It's a small motor, plus if you go too fast, you run the risk of running into something and pop in the swan. A couple last things to note, there is a bit of a setup time with this. The leaf blower is oh, super nice though. Plus you don't need a trailer or a boat launch, so you save a bit of time there. Regardless though, I hope you did enjoy this video. I'll leave all the links below. None of this was sponsored, just an idea I had. So hit that like button if you did enjoy it and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.